In this video, I'm going to show you how to turn this into this. So let's get into it. So first, I'm going to start by explaining how I weather my MTH Premier O-Scale 3 rail or cars that you see in front of you. So as you can obviously see, the one to the left is obviously weathered and the car to the right is obviously not weathered. But if you've never weathered before, how do you know where to start? So where I started weathering these cars is through looking at designs online and looking at other types of ore car designs that were weathered and rusty and have definitely been in their fair share of use. And I'll go ahead and link a picture of that design that I was inspired to weather these cars by in this video some way or another. All right, now that we're set up at the workbench, we can start painting. Now, I've seen a lot of videos out there saying how to weather this, how to weather that how to paint this car this way. Now, there's nothing wrong with those videos, but in my personal opinion, weathering trains, there, there is no step-by-step. -step. It's really whatever you want, because at the end of the day, it's your railroad, and it's all about what you want to model and how you want to model it. So this video, I'm just gonna show you how I weather my cars, weather my trains and whatnot, and show you the process I go through and my step of the weathering process. All right, so what I'll start by doing now is I'm gonna give the car a coating of this Tester's Brown Rust Enamel Coat. All right, so for the sake of time, I'm only gonna weather half of this car for the video's sake and only one of the car ends to show you how I modeled the specific weathering details I modeled on the other car on the wood there. All right, now that the first coat of that dark brown rust enamel stain is basically dry, now I'm gonna show you how I create this weathered, kind of worn out, uh, in well-used yellow handrail effect on the ore car. So, just like before, I'm gonna use my zinc chromate paint by Testers. So let's open that up. Make sure to shake the bottle before you open it up. And now that I have my bristle, I'm gonna just carefully, let me show you here, I'm gonna just carefully dip the bristle inside the bottle here, not to get too much paint because I'm not gonna be painting the entire handrails. I'm just gonna be dabbing them just a little bit so I can leave the remains of black and brown that has kind of weathered through the paint or the paint has weathered through itself over the years. So all I'm gonna do here is just lightly dab the handrail to kind of get some of that yellow paint on there to make it look like there is a kind of painted coated handrail on there, but I'm not going to cover the entire handrail. I'm going to just leave just those little spots as you could see and just dab just a little bit of paint on there. All right, so if it looks like the handrail is completely covered in yellow, no fear if you completely didn't dab it very lightly. My trick is that I simply just take a, where is it, a wet wipe and just simply dab the car just to get some more of that paint removed and to even spread the mixture between rust and paint all over the handrail to make it look like it's been through the weather. And there you go. There's nothing else to it. Alrighty, so the next step is that I'm going to show you how I applied the poured slag effect to these cars here on the top of the rims of the bucket. Now this effect is done in a similar manner to the handrail effect that I just showed you, even though we're gonna be using a different color of paint, obviously, my gray paint by Testers, and I'm gonna use a different brush just so I don't uh, mix up the uh, paint swatches themselves. All right, so I got my paint brush loaded with some paint, so let me show you how I do this. So first, 
I'm just gonna apply just a very kind of light coat of this brown on the rim of the bucket. No, I'm just doing one side for the sake of time, again, like I did with the brown paint. Now, just applying a little bit here and there, not gonna cover the entire rim, and I'll show you why in a second. It's very similar to how I did the handrail effect. All right, so just like with the handrail effect, we're gonna take our wet wipe or baby wipe, and we're just gonna simply, nice and easily, dab the rim where the paint is to spread that gray around and make it look as natural as possible and make it look like slag poured all over it along the rim of the car. So just dab it out like that nice and easy and there you go there's nothing else to it. All right so also for the sake of time I switched cars as the car in the foreground is the car that was originally on top of the wood that we were using for a kind of an example piece for the car that's currently on the wood right now that I weathered for you in this video. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm going to apply a little bit of the lighter rust color, which is the lighter testers Create FX rust stain number two. And I'll include the paint item numbers and descriptions in the description box below. So be sure to go check that out. Alrighty, so now that we're all done, I've coupled up an extra ore car that I weathered to the additional ore car that we weathered tonight, as well as the ore car that we use as the model. So now let's go bring them around the layout and see them in action. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to turn this into, Whoa. not that. Mm -hmm. 